IT, Ability Level 4 and 5, Quick Start Guide. We begin standing comfortably wide with contemplating. Your breath will flow in as your palms face the sky and then exhaling the hands are going to turn towards the earth. The elbows are rotating in. While the breath moves in, the elbows are lifting out as the breath moves out. Transitioning from contemplating to floating, your arms will extend forward with the breath in and then exhaling the hands travel to the fronts of your thighs. Letting the water do the work, they'll float up, breathing in, and then exhale, bring them back, back to the thighs. Transitioning from floating to uplifting, the arms travel farther back. Uplifting begins near the hips or behind you slightly, breathing in, the arms will float up, and then exhaling, the arms are going to travel down. Now, depending on your flexibility, you're going to reach back as far as you can. Uplifting has the same lift with the buoyancy of the water and a bit of muscle to draw it down, focusing in the shoulder blades. Transitioning from uplifting to enclosing, the arms are going to start near the surface of the water and then exhaling, they'll draw close to the front Inhale and open, with the hands coming together or possibly slightly crossing in front of you. Breathing in, they'll expand back as wide as you can, and exhaling, you'll reach the hands around the front of you. It's a giant wave shape in the hands, changing directions forward and back. Transitioning from enclosing to folding, the hands will be near the sides of the body and the elbows in close, crossing your left over your right, you exhale and then inhale as the arms open, cross the right over the left. Exaggerate the rotation in your wrists if you can. The larger the range of motion in your reach back behind you while keeping the elbows anchored at your sides, the better. Transitioning from folding to soothing, we'll let the arms rise up and then draw the left hand across keeping your balance stable in the center. Focus on how big you can move your arm opening and closing. Exhaling when the hand comes over the front of your body, inhaling when it reaches back behind you. And then we do the same thing on the other side. With the right arm reaching across, exhale, and then the right arm will open. Soothing is both a left and a right to make one. Transitioning from soothing to gathering, we're going to turn to the right, putting the focus of your balance on your feet narrowly placed. Inhale, open the left, the right arm behind you, and exhale, draw the hands together. If you feel comfortable with this movement in the arms, you can add just a little bit of looking as far to your left side as you can while you draw your arm back behind you. It's as if you were looking away from the arm moving. And then we do the same thing on the other side. Standing on a narrow balance beam, looking forward, reaching back now with the left hand. And to add even greater challenge, look away from the arm as it reaches behind you. Look all the way to the right. Transitioning from gathering to freeing. Freeing is this same movement, but both right and left. Turn, and we're going to look with the arm this time. So the greater rotation through the trunk is exaggerated or moved with your eyes. When you turn to the left and you look back as your left arm reaches back, you look as far around as you can, making that rotation from the skull through the skull the neck, the cervical spine, the shoulders. Your feet are stably placed. The hips are going to be the anchor at the bottom and the rest of the spine rotates around, freeing. Transitioning from freeing to shifting is going to bring your balance back to center and both of your feet now are stably wide. Exhale and draw your left hand across as your weight shifts onto your right foot. And then shifting, the movement travels over 
and the right hand travels as your weight is on your left foot. Inhale and open. It is both a balance and flowing motion, shifting the weight onto one foot and then over to the other foot. Transitioning from shifting to accepting, your movements now turn to face the right side. Both arms will open as you breathe in. And exhaling, shift forward so that you feel your weight move into your right foot in the earth. Inhale, stand center tall, and then shift the weight forward onto that right foot. We do the same thing facing the other way. Transition around, breathing in. Turning to face now the left. Inhale and open. Exhale, draw that energy forward so you shift your weight onto your left foot and come center. Transitioning from accepting to accepting with grace. Stand in your center, breathing in. Turning, you're facing the right side. You have your weight on your left foot and you lift as you open the arms, your right foot off the floor. And then exhale, push the weight back down to the earth. It's a single leg balance on your left. Changing sides. Open the arms, find that middle ground, breathing in. And then we put the weight on the right foot while you lift the left. Inhale, both arms lift the left foot. Exhale and bring it back to the earth. Transitioning from accepting with grace to rounding. It starts by opening, and as you turn towards the right side, you're going to breathe in and open the arms, setting up that your right leg holds your balance and your left leg reaches forward. Inhale and open the arms again. You have a little bit of rounding coming from your spine, your shoulders, and your hamstring stretching forward. To add an intensity to the hamstring stretch, flex the heel while the foot reaches up in front of you. Turning to do it on the other side, we find our center breathing in, and now your weight will shift onto your right foot, onto your left foot, right leg. As you open the arms, your right leg will now exhale and come forward. With that right leg stepping back as far as you comfortably can, and reaching forward into a hamstring stretch on the right side. Flexing the heel if necessary. Transitioning from rounding into balancing, we face the right. Your weight is stably placed onto your right leg. Your left foot is going to come forward as your fingertips reach back towards your hips, standing tall. And then sweep the left leg back, reach the hands forward, into superhero. Inhale, standing tall, reaching the fingertips all the way back, making round arches in the elbows. Then stretch the fingers forward and the leg back, balancing on your right leg. And when you are back in that superhero, we're going to transition to or move around to the other side. Simply open the arms as you change the balance onto now left inhale extend the right foot forward fingertips back towards the hips and exhale extending out into superhero looking for a similarity or symmetry between one side and the other balancing on that left foot and transitioning from balancing to encircling we step back to our center and the power of this is breathing in from the low belly. And as you exhale from heart level, you're going to draw a giant spiral in the water all the way around. Coming in from the left low into that low belly again. Breathing in as the hands travel up. Shifting your weight all the way around in as big of a circle as you can. And then we do the same thing on the other side. Hands travel from that low belly up to the heart. Exhale, press them out left and circle around to the right. This is the first part of encircling. We move into the second part by keeping the hands low near the hips 
and then trying to draw as close to the hips as we can, a circle around to your right hip and low back, then a circle around to your left hip and low back. The hands play follow the leader, both palms facing in the same direction. This has some rotation. You want to draw as close to the body as you can, a circle that will look a little bit like an infinity symbol. Transitioning from encircling to surrounding, your hands are going to rotate to the center where they face one another, and then drawing that energy around towards your right hip, your left hand will be on top, and your right elbow is going to pull back. Turning to the other side, the left elbow pulls back as the right hand moves to the top. You're holding a ball between the palms of your hands. The pull back with your elbow should send as much energy down into your rib cage and spine as you can in rotation around. Transitioning from surrounding to nurturing. Step the right foot forward and the left foot back. Both hands reach forward as you press out way into that energy field over your right side. You're going to exhale, extend the fingers and bring them in close to the body, inhale. The bigger the circle, the reach extending as far as you can, the breath as full as you can. And then we do the same thing on the other side, stepping back with the right and forward with the left. Extending forward, exhale over the left leg, drawing the, fan, the hands up, breathing in, extending the hands forward, exhaling. Transitioning from nurturing to flowing, we're going to start with the feet crossing over the right over the, the left over the right, inhaling when the legs cross, exhaling when the legs open, adding the arms, we're going to open the legs, cross the arms, open the arms, cross the legs. Flowing is a step over either in front or behind. When you cross the leg behind, the knees are soft so that you can get some range of motion big steps back. Transitioning from flowing to reflecting. From your center, you're going to cross both the left arm and leg over the right and turn around, breathing in, your arms open, your legs open. Crossing the right over the left and turn around, you breathe in and open. See how lightly you can move, almost as if it was all buoyancy, and the very, very lightest tips of your toes on the floor. Reflecting turns you from the back to the front and the front to the back. Transitioning from reflecting to contemplating, we come back to our basic stance, coming to folding, standing wide. This transition starts with your elbows close to your hips and you cross the palms over the front of your body. Left over right, inhale and open, right over left. It's like a familiar friend coming back. This is the fifth exercise that we started with in our practice. Transitioning from folding to enclosing, the hands are going to lift up wide to the sides and now reach forward, exhale. Inhale and open. Enclosing has that rounded, changing of direction. The bigger the circles, the bigger the reach. Inhaling while the arms open and reach behind you. Exhaling as they come forward, possibly even crossing over one another in front. Transitioning from enclosing to uplifting. When your arms are wide at your sides, breathe in. Uplifting starts by coming down either to the hips or behind the hips as you exhale and inhale, the arms will rise up. The farther back you reach, it might be a tap of hand to elbow behind your back. Transitioning from uplifting to floating, draw the hands to the front of the body and let the water lift them in front of you, breathing in. 
Exhaling, the hands come back down. Palms are going to face the sky as you inhale and the earth as you exhale, or you're going to rotate and draw the pinky fingers all the way around so that they are the leading edge on the way up and rotate the hands and the shoulders all the way around so the pinky fingers come up at the bottom. Transitioning from floating to contemplating. Come back to the center with your hands. Breathe in. They'll face the sky. Exhale. They'll face the earth. And here is the elbow. With the inhale, they move in. And with the exhale, the elbows move out. And this concludes our Aichi practice.